Peace, man. Welcome back to another lit video. So today's video is going to be about the day I almost became a mom. So this was like a couple years ago um, when I was like around, I don't even know what age I was around, but like around like this like, you know, age where I was like, you know, turning better looking and stuff like a 10 or something, maybe like 10, I think. Um, and we went to the mall and this woman came up behind me and was like, she basically was asking me like, oh my God, I look so good and all this stuff. And just, just to just be clear, if any of you guys see this video, um, I'm not copying nobody, if you know what I mean. I'm not copying nobody. Um, me and the person just had really like, you know, close you know stuff because I don't know how but like they just they just asked me to come to the place and you know try to look or be like a model so when if you're talking if you're like gonna be like exposing me because I'm copying somebody I'm not it's just like how business works in the modeling agency and when they see somebody that they like they go ahead and do it um so that's what I, that was my opportunity and I'm very happy because now I know that I, I have the qualities and benefits of of to be a model. And whenever I'm ready, when I grow up, I can totally do what I want to do and be a model. Because I would love to be a model from this age on up. And it would be the most best thing in, in my whole entire life. Um, and there's going to be um, a video coming out soon about my favorite youtubers and you guys are gonna hear that again because of what happened with my channel so um yeah like so let me just get back on with the video so yeah she she saw me and we we're in like the food court upstairs and she was like oh like i like your son i like your son to my mom and she's like i like your son's look and stuff I was very like, oh my god, I look ugly right now. How you think I you like my look? <laughs> like, you think you like my look? Like, I'm wearing these ugly baggy pants. I'm wearing this ugly shirt. Like, you're saying that. She probably just saw my face and like, you know, he got that modeling look. Because if I, bro, let me, let me, let me just show you one modeling stare that you guys would be like, you know, he's going to, he could definitely be a model. I'm, I'm sure, I'm going to show you right now. I'm sorry guys, but um, I'm trying, but I just can't think about it, so I just smile and stuff, so like, man, let me show you, like. Those are perfect modeling pictures. Like, easy money. Modeling is easy money, basically. Um, yeah, but when, when she asked, or when she told me that she wanted me to go, and she gave me the card, and when we went to the place to get the audition and for them to look at me and to see if they really like me so they said yeah they like me and my mom said my son has a little bit of weight so they said that they were gonna they're gonna train me and I was gonna be more skinny and fit so like I was about to I was about to be like oh my god I'm gonna get mad skinny I'm gonna be mad um lit with my new career like this modeling is not even a job this is a career like i could have been i could have i could have had a career at 10 years old 10 year old and i could have had a career you know how like big that is like and making money for my for my family like you know how big that is like maybe i even get to branch off and go to like disney movies and disney channel like I was, my head was just going places where I thought I could never go and I thought that because of me I could never go there and I would never ever be able to do that thing so if you guys hear this just keep in mind that you can be a model and you can be famous and you can branch out and go places where you want to go to because when you think about like when you think in your head that you're not gonna make places you're not gonna do this you can't do that it kind of like sticks in your head and like you just like can't you can't feel like oh i can actually probably do it you know and and when she, and i and i thought like that and when the lady came up to me and said oh I, like and talked to my mom and said that she liked my look and she liked me 
I got this big opening eye and hope and it was the most best day of my life of knowing that I am I could I could accomplish this modeling career and I can branch myself up and above to wherever I want to go to Disney Channel a movie maybe even a modeling shoot you know like it would be so perfect for me and you know every like you guys to know what I went through with this modeling and what you guys can go do too with this modeling like if somebody asks your mom and said that they like your look and stuff like like that was like a big opening eye for me and it could be a big big opening eye for you guys too because I I really thought I couldn't make it and I always was practicing how can I look better and stuff um cause I've been going like when I was asking this I was going through bullying oh my god and this is like a whole nother story time but I'm just gonna tell you it's gonna be a mini story time for now but I've been going through lots and lots and lots and lots of bullying and when that happens when that ha that day happened to me and they were saying that I can potentially be a model that opened my eyes for the better for the better because if that never happened to me I would probably still be sad and saying that I would never be there and I would never go nowhere and and I could tell those people and break down those people down and tell them that I can be a model and I can do better than you guys and I will be out there and I will be shining my own glory shining so when they're like like talking to you like oh you're ugly oh you're this oh you're that and saying that I'm fat I could have been one of the semi fat <laughs> semi bigger people in modeling like semi semi big bigger people in modeling and when they're like doing this and if you're bigger like me and have a little bit of stomach and the men there that you know have you know areas that they don't really like on them and people talk about it in when you're at school and when they talk about it you feel really bad about it um I know how that feels like I know how that feels that is like the most worst thing somebody can do to you um I just like when I went through that it broke me in pieces and this YouTube thing really got my my happiness up and when I had to delete my channel that was the worst day of my life because you guys make me happy and the reason why I took such a long break is because I was extremely sad and I didn't want to show you how sad I was so that's why I took such a long break and yeah like I just really really hope you guys can learn what I learned and yeah so let me just get on with the story so after I did all that and then we went to Manhattan and then now it's the time to basically go where I need to go and when people are like um like go upstairs into the area where the modeling people are and I sat down like where this like like what is it like like you know like a fashion shoe I mean fashion show where it's like long thing then every the seats are that's where I was at like like this long walking thing and then I was sitting down with my mom and then somebody came in and called my mom and me in my name and they're like we well, were talking for like a couple hours and like sorry we were talking for like a couple hours and I was like oh my god I really hope I can get this I really hope I can shine and you know get this thing and when when me and my mom were there for like a couple hours talking about all the stuff that my requirements and all my things and then at the end when I asked for or when my mom asked for that price tag um, that was like very taking back cuz like it was okay I'm gonna tell you right now it was four or five thousand dollars just to take a couple pictures just to take a couple pictures and I don't know why but I guess that's what they that's what the, one of the crime do and I just don't know 
why it was so expensive but I didn't I didn't end up being a model because of that um, and if that if that wasn't a requirement I would be a model to this day and taking photo shoots being in movies being in shows being in all these big th stuff that I could have been in but just because or in commercials like just just because that one expense threw me off through my whole career off everything was gone so that's why I need you guys so that's why I need you guys to learn what I have been doing stuff and if you guys even have that money to spend and blow and be a model and go up and have your shining and you look good and you're like the most you know goodest person and you have all that if you have all that you can be a model but if you're bad if you have no energy because energy takes like modeling takes energy modeling modeling takes lots of energy if you have no energy if you are lazy if you are rude if you are not as like you know good looking <laughs> like that's a big thing but i'm not gonna say ugly if you're not as good looking because that's a requirement in modeling and skinniness and all this stuff that i don't i have i have good looking but i don't really have the skinniness and stuff so when i you know first thought that i would never be ever never would have have branched off and got where i am i was very very sad at that point and when i figured out that i could do all that i was extremely extremely happy but that only that only that one price was that that set me back from branching off and doing lots of fun things with my life but i hope that i hope this can help you guys and make you guys feel more happy about your about yourself and make you guys feel like you're not alone and you know because i definitely felt that i was alone when i was getting bullied and when people were saying that oh you would never make it you're fat you're ugly you're dark and and the people that really like really says mean stuff and really tell that about you about your skin color and stuff is your own kind is your own kind so like i'm at the post um i'm i'm at the make another video um about saying about the fake friend again and yeah so i'm you guys are not alone i'm definitely here with you guys and i've been through a lot a lot so yeah so like subscribe and share bye guys